So it's that time of year again when millions of Americans are allowed to enroll or change your health benefits. And while that information usually comes directly from your employer, many of you may have received benefit enrollment packets in the mail from unsolicited third party companies. So is this a scam or Patrick Nelson investigates? We've spent a lot of time talking about suspicious emails, even text messages, but an old fashioned envelope in your mailbox is still one of the most popular ways you can be fooled into sending people your personal information. Immediately it passes their first test of legitimacy if their guards down. This piece of mail arrived at the home of one of our station employees. It was sent from a Georgia company. You can see it looks official and has a headline that says 2021 benefit information for Colorado citizens only. CSU Global's Dr. Fraud, J. Michael Skiba, says mail like this is arriving at homes across the country. It's really a national problem because what they do with this template is they will just put, you know, cross out Colorado and put Texas or Maryland. Uh, in here and then just change the addresses around a little bit. The mail asks for names, ages, phone numbers and home address. While the mail may be deceptive, it's not illegal. Dr. Fraud points out the opt out information in tiny fine print at the bottom of the mailer. He says responding to this mailer isn't dangerous, but can lead to more robocalls, sales calls and junk mail in the future. So you may want to just throw it away. It's really just a business development tool. So what, what would happen is you know, you would get bombarded with with those sales calls and sales, you know, different medium that they're going to use. And and that information, once once you get in that system, you know, it's kind of it's it's kind of hard to get out of it. News five investigates shared this mailer with Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser. He said the tactics used here are disturbing. So when they get something that looks official, they're inclined to respond. Mailers like this are such a concern. He's urging state lawmakers to look at options to help better protect our information. One challenge is Colorado, like most states, does not have a privacy law that protects people from collecting and selling information about us without our consent. California passed such a law. Other states are looking at it. We're going to be discussing whether or not Colorado needs some form of a law to protect consumers from having information collected about us and then sold to others without us knowing about it. If you get something in the mail that looks similar to this before throwing it away, you should contact the Colorado Attorney General's office where someone can help you understand what you've received. We can help analyze it. Also, if it is a fraud, we want to know about it so we can do something about it. If you head to our website, KOAA.com, and click on the News 5 Investigates tab, you'll find this story where I've posted links and resources to help you deal with suspicious mail. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates.